stupid tie. I never get it right on the first time. I always have to redo it. I just did a count and between my suits and my jacket and trouser combination combo, combinations, uh, I own 17 different uh, BNR kind of two-piece sets, which depending on your perspective, that's either a lot or it's not very much at all. For me and my perspective with how often I'm doing this, with how often I'm posting stuff on Instagram, it's not a ton and obviously I would like to make more. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots more. Can you guess which suit I wear less than any other one I have in my rotation? It's my black one. And I know for guys who are just getting into suiting, I can't tell you how many times I have potential clients who come into the shop and they say, I need to get a suit and I'm debating between gray and black. And I immediately say, okay, well that makes it easy because black is not what you want to start off with. And most guys make the mistake of thinking, by the way, look at how money, let's see if I can get that focused in. Ooh, yeah, look how good that dimple is. I love a good tie dimple. Anyway, black is super formal. It's super formal. Really, it's only appropriate for events. Uh, otherwise, you can often end up looking like you're part of the wait staff instead of actually looking like you belong where you belong. Now, obviously, it's a little bit different for guys who are mod guys and uh, they kind of lean into and embrace that whole aesthetic. But I will admit that over the years, I have probably leaned too far away from that in the effect that I never wear a black suit unless I'm attending an event. And for me, in the shop, showcasing this stuff, I can probably wear this thing more often than I actually do. I don't think that the camera can really do this justice. Maybe, maybe you can see this and hear this, but in this one part of Utah, wind is absolutely terrible. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if my car over there just picked up and blew away before the end of the day. I am so glad that I am inside right now because this is gnarly. You see what I mean? Like. Yeah, <laughs> that was so intense. How's the shirt feel? Have you ever had anything that fit like that? Isn't it so great? <laughs> You're never gonna be able to do non-custom again. Dude. <laughs> awesome, absolutely, man. I'm so pumped that that turned out as well as it did. My poor car. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. It actually is probably cleaner than it was when it dumped on it this morning. <laughs> About four years ago, I think, I had Indochino make this uh, raincoat for me. And at the time, I was really, really pretty excited about it. I mean, come on, it's pretty fun. It's this really good bright blue. And most of the time when people are wearing rain jackets, they're grays or navies or blacks. So they're really drab. One problem though, look how short I told them I wanted it. That is just, that doesn't work. That's not what you want in a raincoat. It's too bad, it's such a waste. And they don't make this cloth anymore. This isn't an option that's available anymore. So I'm debating. I may end up just selling this thing on eBay. I may hold on to it because it works well if I wear it casually, but it certainly doesn't work great with the suit anymore. But you live and you learn. Obviously, if I say you shouldn't be wearing black, or at least you shouldn't be starting off with black, then that begs the question, what should you be wearing? And let me show you what I recommend. This is a conversation that I go through with 99% of my clients because most of them have never done custom before. And this is where I recommend that we start. So either something in the light gray or kind of like the mid gray territory or doing something in some version of a navy. And the reasoning behind this is pretty simple. One is that neither one of those colors is super memorable, uh, especially if you go with something that's solid, there's no pattern on this which means if you needed to, you could wear one suit every day for the rest of your life and not really have anybody pay attention to it because it's just a good canvas, it's just the background. Another benefit of the versatility is that any color, hold on, any color of shoes will work with this. So I can do black, I can do brown, that works well. Same thing goes with a deep navy. You can do a really good black to make it a super formal look, 
or you can obviously, uh, or you can do a brown for something that's a little bit more casual, right? So if you were super limited, like basically you could only do one suit and one sport coat, here's what I would recommend. A good worsted wool in a good mid navy, and then do your jacket or your sport coat in a blue that's a weave like this that says hop sack. Let's see if that'll focus. You see kind of the texture of that? Those are what I would recommend starting off with because you're gonna get a ton of wearability out of them and then from there you can expand into more into your wardrobe. But black, as great as it is for formal environments and for formal events, funerals, uh, black tie affairs, weddings and those kind of things, it's not really a business color, at least not anymore. Now that doesn't mean that you can't do black in your accessories, in your leather and that kind of stuff, but as far as black suiting, I would say don't get that until you absolutely need it because you are going to look better and get more out of doing different cloths. By the way, dad bought stuff, it's going well. Uh, did some really good workouts. I had the chance to go boxing this week. I'm really looking forward to the fact that we are moving tomorrow because that means I will finally be closer to the boxing gym and so I will be able to go way more often than I've been able to for the last few months. Blake has been sending me some really good stuff to be working on that honestly is just stuff that I haven't done before and that's good because hopefully that means I will get results that I haven't seen yet. And uh, it's, been, it's been good, so exercise stuff going well. Anyway, thanks as always for watching. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, why? Subscribe and make sure that you check out all my social media. That's Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff is at Tanner Guzzi. I will catch you guys on the next one.